Most people think that progress looks something like this. In the beginning, you have a little bit of boost in progress because you're a beginner and you learn things very fast. But then as time goes on, it's just sort of a straight upwards going line like this. So along the way here, if you're not feeling that you're making enough progress, you can just simply give up somewhere here because progress is linear. So if you don't like the way that it's going, you can just give up because you feel you can predict what's going to happen in the future, right? Wrong. In reality, it looks something like this. Let's say this point here is like a six month mark and this right here is like a one year mark or two year mark. So what happens is this part doesn't really exist. It's only in our minds. If we examine the progress bar or the Y axis, you'll notice that at this point, this is roughly how much progress you will have made. And here, this is how much progress you will have made. So in the beginning, when you got that initial boost of progress, it felt like so much progress. But compared to the reality of sticking with something for over a long period of time, look at how much more progress a person can experience. It's nothing compared to the initial beginner's boost. I've experienced a few of these exponential progress curves myself, but more about that later in the video. Now, yesterday I was listening to a Lex Friedman podcast with John Danaher. He's one of the best jujitsu coaches in the world, for those who are wondering. And he brought up a very interesting point that I couldn't agree more with. He said that a complete complete beginner at most skills, including combat sports, can master a skill within five years. A complete beginner. And not just learn the skill, but become one of the best in the world at it. Be able to compete with the top 25 people in the world. Think about that. You could pick a skill, almost any skill, copywriting, video editing, YouTube, blogging, climbing, gaming, whatever. And you can concentrate on it for five years, let's be honest, maybe two, three, or even one year would suffice. And if you entrench yourself in that skill for some time every day, you will become one of the best. From zero to 100. All you need is time and dedication. There's very little luck involved. The best part is that experts get rewarded. People pay a pretty penny for an expert, doesn't matter which field they're in. Of course, if you pick a reasonably high value skill, then there's no doubt you'll make a ton of money doing it. Now there are really two problems holding people back from sticking with learning one skill for a few years at a time. Number one, not willing to quote unquote quote, waste five years on something, and number two, getting complacent after some time, stopping the failing process and thus the improvement process. You need to fail to win. You need to give things time to succeed. If you're suffering from the shiny object syndrome and you switch your path, then it's very hard to get to your destination. If you walk in zigzags, then it's going to take you so much longer to reach your destination than if you were to walk in just a straight line. There's this 80-20 rule called the Pareto Principle, and it says that 80% of the results come from 20% of the effort. So for example, here in this graph, 80% of time spent contributed only to 20% of the results that you gained. And here, 20% of the time spent contributed to more than 80% of the results. And the Pareto principle applies in many aspects of life. So in order to get 100 on your exam, you're probably going to spend 80% of the time preparing for those 20 last percent. You only need to spend 20% of your time to get 80% of the way there. Most things and phenomenons in life follow this 80-20 rule, and the percentages don't have to be 80-20. They could be 90-10 or 95 and 1%. If you're interested in this phenomenon, you could read a book called The 80-20 Principle. I think it's pretty good. Now, maybe you haven't yet experienced this exponential growth in progress, but I have in some situations. For example, my YouTube channel. If I jump into my channel analytics, and select a period of a lifetime for my channel, you can see that most of the views that my channel got were in the last 20% of time. And 80% of time, I wasn't getting so many views compared to now. So what I'm trying to say here is that progress is non-linear. And if you give up here or here or even here, you're potentially losing on so much progress. The key to learning something or making progress, whether in business, your personal life or wherever else, is really just patience and 
and the willingness to fail. By the way, if you're interested, I have a quick course about how I make YouTube shorts and it's free with Skillshare. I'll link to it in the description. And speaking of Skillshare, if I go into my analytics and look at how much time people spend watching all of my courses, then you can see this upward trend. Ignore this dip because it's the middle of the month and it hasn't yet finalized. But you can see that in November, when I only had one course on here, I got around 200 minutes of watch time. Then in December, it went up, went up, up, and up even more. And this curve kind of resembles an exponential one. So if I keep learning and keep publishing courses, chances are I will see an exponential growth in views for my courses as well. Everything just comes back to this graph. And the most crucial part here is to not stop failing. You see, you either win or you learn. There's no failure here, assuming that you keep going. Only if you stop, then it's failure. Dan Co talks about this a lot, and it's the idea that solving problems with trial and error Error is just so satisfying for our brains. It's the way to make progress. Failure isn't a negative thing, it's just a part of the process. Winning and failing are just different sides of the same coin. They're the part of the same thing, the same process. Now what's even better is that skills compound over each other. So here I showed you a curve of progress. But when it comes to skills, for example, copywriting or video editing or something else, if you learn a bunch of them, they will compound over each other. For example, if you learn how to type really, really fast, then for your whole life, it will pay dividends and you will type everything twice as fast. If you become a copywriter, those two skills go hand in hand. You'll be able to type twice as fast, thus it makes you a better copywriter. But even if you don't become a copywriter, just imagine how much time that saves you your whole life. And this goes with many other skills, they complement each other. And since skills pay dividends for the rest of your life, that means the sooner you acquire a skill, the more dividends that they will pay out. So the sooner you start typing faster, the more time you will save over the rest of your life. And this goes with any skill, not just in terms of saving time, but for example, if you learn to meditate, it will pay dividends for the rest of your life. So you learn a skill here, another skill here, then maybe here, another skill here, then you decide to give up. But if you didn't and kept learning skills, so here, maybe here, and then at this point, singularity happens and your progress just shoots through the wall. For example, you started learning how to build websites at age 16. You learned Photoshop at age 18. You learned how to copyright by trying dropshipping at age 19. Then you tried some freelancing gigs and learned how to edit videos. And now you're 25 and want to start a YouTube channel. Guess what? You're at this point already. You don't need to learn all of those skills again. They will complement each other and your progress will be exponential. I hope this was helpful to someone out there. I hope that you subscribe, but what I really want you to subscribe to is my email newsletter. Currently, I send it out once a month and it has everything that this video had basically. I share cool ideas, quotes from books that I read, cool websites, apps, or something that improves my life. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description.